So the first trailer for the Batman Penguin spin-off series has been released by HBO, or what is now called Just Max, and it includes some exciting footage surrounding what's in store. We get a look at Gotham a week after its flooding, some moody shots of Colin Farrell's Penguin, and brief footage of new characters like Kristen Milioti's Sophia Falcone. On top of this new teaser, there was a somewhat confirmation of the Arkham Asylum series 2, shaping up the future of Matt Reeves Batman universe in a big way. In this video, I'm going to be giving you my breakdown and review for the Penguin trailer and discussing the other news that was shared from the HBO event as well. The trailer will be linked in the description if you haven't seen it already. Before I get into it though, if you want to keep up to date on any of my future content surrounding the Penguin series, the Batman universe and other upcoming DC projects, then don't forget to support this upload by giving it a like rating, subscribing to the channel and turning on your notifications. But without further ado, let's dive into the new footage surrounding the Penguin. So the Penguin is titled as the next chapter in Matt Reeves' Batman saga, and we already know that it's due to take place after the events of 2022's The Batman Part 1 and following the death of mob boss Carmine Falcone. Falcone's death and the floods of Gotham have left a power vacuum in the criminal underworld, and the eight-part series revealed to come out in 2024 is expected to explore just that. The first in-production teaser trailer gave us a a few explosive moments, focusing mainly on Colin Farrell's penguin wielding different guns, waddling around New York with his penguin-like walk, and meeting new characters like Sophia Falcone. We open the trailer with a few reoccurring shots from the end of the Batman film, showing Gotham flooded after Riddler blew up the seawall in the third act of that movie. We follow with establishing shots outside of the Iceberg Lounge, and it seems that not long after the previous flooding, that the location is no longer submerged. Based on the time it takes for real life floodings to clear, I don't think it's unrealistic for the flooding to eventually subside in a short amount of time, and we could guess that most of this series will be taking place about a week or so after the events of the Batman movie. Colin Farrell did say that the opening scene begins right after the ending of the Batman Part 1, with Oz waddling through the water, so we guess that after this moment, it will transition a week or so later to a now partially destroyed but clearer Gotham City. Moving on, we did get a shot of Penguin's new car after his old vehicle was destroyed in the Batman's car chase scene and it fits in line with all the behind the scenes footage that we got with both Pharrell and Renzi Feliz who are also seen together throughout the teaser. We also got a brief look at Michael Kelly's unknown character who could be a part of Maroney's gang or one of Penguin's new men too. But overlaying all these brief shots is the dialogue from Penguin himself saying, this is one of those moments where you've got to ask yourself, what kind of life do I want? He continues by stating, the world ain't built for guys like us, that's why we gotta take whatever we decide is ours. I was Carmine Falcone's right hand man, you ain't seen what I can do. So it definitely stresses on the central idea of the Penguin series, in that the past fragility of the character is being tested, exposed, but then from that comes his potential rise to power. The moment with Sherer Akdashlu, where her character's men hold Oz at knife point, showcases that the other mobs are ready to seize control themselves, and we also know that Kristen Milioti's Sophia Falcone, the daughter of Carmine, is going to be going up against Penguin too. So the trailer really builds with this approach of the different mobs not expecting Penguin to be much of a problem. But that's where the ending of the footage completely delivers. We hear Penguin saying to someone, can you imagine the people saying my name on the streets after you've gone and having it mean something? And then cue in a chilling scene where Penguin guns someone down, laughing sadistically and reinforcing that he's going to become a different animal in this criminal underworld. It ends with him claiming the title, the new kingpin of Gotham, and then we see the Penguin logo animating and appearing exactly like the font from the first 
Batman movie. So it was a brilliant culmination of tension, and of course, it's just a small tease surrounding how this spin-off narrative will be shown through the eyes of Colin Farrell's Penguin. So now that I've discussed what we saw in the trailer for The Penguin, what are my thoughts on it? Well, to me, it really looks like another gripping instalment in the Matt Reeves Batverse, and similar to the first teaser trailer for the Batman film from a few years back, it really sold me on the direction that Craig Zobel and Lauren LeFranc are going in. There's a lot of Sopranos and Godfather's vibes from just the few dialogue scenes and meetings that Farrell's Penguin has with the other unknown characters, yet the footage also makes it feel like we are fully back in Matt Reeves' iteration of Gotham. The same yellowish colour palette, the dark rainy streets, and even the brief water damage that we saw because of the Gotham floods make this world feel as visceral as it did on the big screen. Just in the few brief shots we got of Colin Farrell, he seems to be doing a wonderful job with his performance, not just in showcasing more of his penguin, but making him feel like he has a new edge. We really get the sense that he is coming into his own, that he doesn't want to be messed around, and that he will be that next kingpin. The whole essence of it just makes it feel like a quality HBO series, and I particularly love how it finds the balance between being the next step in the Batman saga, but also a project that seems like a separated affair surrounding Penguin. While I'm getting to the stage of being burnt out on comic book movie or TV universes, Matt Reeves' Batman saga is really shaping up to be something special, and if this new footage is any indication, it seems that every project is going to be tackled by talented creatives in an aim to make the best possible movie or show. It's not about just doing more for the sake of it, and you can tell that just from the tone of what we're seeing. Pharrell said previously that this series would explore Penguin's awkwardness, his villainy, his strength, and ultimately the heartbroken man inside. And while we haven't seen too much of those different angles, yet, the very moments of his performance in this footage makes me confident that they are going to explore all of that on a rich character level. So overall, I can't wait to see how Reeves and the producers of this show really flesh out the extended detail of Gotham City's underworld, including other mobs and extending on families we've seen, whether it be Sophia Falcone, Salvatore Moroni, or so on, and hopefully there's some cool twists surrounding this big power grab for control. Before I end this video, I did want to talk about the other news that came out alongside that Penguin trailer too, and it includes an update from Daniel Pipsky, the producer of the Penguin series, confirming that the Arkham Asylum show is still in development. Of course, we last heard quite a while ago that they were planning on doing this show as part of the next spin-off series, so it's just good to hear this update from someone close to the Penguin's production. My guess would be that this is the spin-off show set between the Batman Part 2 and a likely third film, similar to the way that the Penguin is set between the Batman Part 1 and Part 2. And we could presume that this Arkham show is somewhat about the villains in the asylum, like Joker, Riddler, and whoever is later put there, eventually breaking out by the time the third movie comes, leading us to a big standoff in Gotham. The reason I say this is because look at how the Penguin series is expanding beyond the ending of the Batman Part 1. The flooding at the end of that movie suggested that new criminals will rise up in the Riddler's place, like we are seeing with Oz, and that show is detailing Penguin's particular rise to power. So what if by the end of the Batman Part 2, the Penguin and the other main villains of that film somewhat join that of Joker, Riddler, and others behind bars at Arkham, and plan some sort of retaliation? It could essentially contribute to the growing sense of villainy that that's about to explode in Gotham and really set up an Arkham Asylum show and a third Batman film really well. It's just a thought that came to my mind and to be honest, the direction they do go in will probably end up being completely different. We'll have to see what updates we get in the coming months surrounding all the projects in Matt Reeves' Batman saga, but so far, it looks like they are still going ahead with that Arkham series and like the Penguin show, it holds much potential. 
But that was my video discussing the brand new trailer for the Penguin series and the update for the upcoming Arkham Asylum show. With production underway and what we've seen for the Penguin show already looking great, I couldn't be more excited to see how Matt Reeves' Batman saga evolves on the big screen as well as the small screen too. We won't have to wait long to see the first spin-off series as the in-production trailer confirms at the end of the footage that the show will be releasing on Mac in 2024, which is accurate to a lot of our predictions when looking at the October 2025 release date for The Batman Part 2. The series is supposed to lead into that sequel, so having this a year before will get fans excited to see the developing storylines in this iteration of Gotham City. It will be interesting to see what kind of role Colin Farrell's Penguin and maybe other characters like Sofia Falcone and Salvatore Moroni will have by the time Matt Reeves' sequel does come out, and hopefully this Penguin series can really flesh out those details and storylines in a big way. It's looking really good so far, and this first teaser did a great job of getting me fully on board with the direction that all the creatives are taking. But what are your thoughts towards all the latest footage from the Penguin series, and does it get you excited for the future of the Batman saga? Let me know down below in the comment section. For much more videos and news on the Batman universe and DC, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like rating and follow me on social media via the links in the description. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been Cortex and as always, make some noise.